All right, Brad and I are going to give you five examples where you should never crack your back. Right. So we have, uh, if we look at the spine, here's uh, the pelvis, the buttocks, the lumbar spine, and typically a herniated disc. Just on that side. Yep. Yeah. Can you zoom right in on that real close? Here's L4 and here's L5. Oftentimes it's either that level or actually the one below. It uh, doesn't matter. The mechanics are similar or the same. So right there, see that little red bulge? We're going to show you how that works. And here's L5, and this is L4. Our model can actually start to bulge out like that. So if he's the spine is like this, if you bend forward, Ooh, that's way it, forward. Yeah. The more you bend, the more you flex, get in that position, the more it wants to push out that herniated bulge, which presses into... The nerve root. Right. All right, we happen to have an expert on this next one, spondylolisthesis. <laughs> it's a mouthful. Wrong. One of the vertebra, here we have L4, actually shifts Shift forward. forward, and you can see this gap right here is not supposed to be there. The farther it shifts, the worse off you are. There's four grades, one through four. Four is the worst, one's the least. Mine's at about grade two. Uh, oftentimes, the disc will actually deteriorate. deteriorate, and mine has gone like this. Hopefully, the bones come together. But you do not want to go to a chiropractor and have and, your back right. adjusted. Well, I got a bar of your imagination here. Mm -hmm. We got three vertebrae, let's say uh, L3, L4, L5. Yep. What happens is when you bend forward, the muscle or the bone integrity isn't there. So you actually bend forward, and it's squeezes down and it kind of breaks crumbles right or if you have a spinal stenosis so what it ha is happening is if you look at a model here the stenosis could be in the one of the foramen here Better. the other place the stenosis can take place is actually in the spinal canal that's where the spinal cord runs along so right. it could be narrowed down there, and that's when you get pain down both legs. Right. right. The final diagnosis where you're never going to crack your back is rheumatoid arthritis, Brad. Mm -hmm. Because with rheumatoid arthritis, you're going to have laxity. Or hypermobility. Right. The bones, the vertebrae are actually too loose already. Yep. They're, they're held together by ligaments and muscles, and the ligaments are not doing their job. Mm -hmm. So instead of, you know, getting a tight fit like this, it, they're going to move around a lot more than they should.